Hello friends, let's talk about types of rolling contact bearing. A rolling contact bearing consists of four parts, inner and outer races, a rolling element like ball, roller or needle, and a cage which holds the rolling elements together and spaces them evenly around the periphery of the shaft. Depending upon the type of the roller bearing, the bearing are classified as ball bearing, cylindrical roller bearing, taper roller bearing, and needle bearing. Depending upon the direction of the load, the bearings are also classified as radial bearings and thrust bearing. There is, however, no clear distinction between these two types. The type of the roller in contact bearing which are frequently used are as shown in figure. The characteristics of these bearings are as follows. Let's see one by one. The first category is deep groove ball bearing. In this type of bearing, the radius of the ball is slightly less than the radii of the curvature of the grooves in the races. Kinematically, this gives a point contact between the balls and the races. Therefore, the balls and the races may roll freely without any sliding. Deep groove ball bearing has following advantages. Due to relatively large size of the balls, deep groove ball bearing has high load carrying capacity. Deep groove ball bearing takes loads in radial as well as axial direction. Deep groove ball bearing generate less noise due to point contact. Deep groove ball bearing has following disadvantages. The first one, deep groove ball bearing is not self-aligning. Accurate alignment between the axis of the shaft and the housing bore is required. Next, deep groove ball bearing has poor rigidity compared with roller bearing. This is due to the point contact compared with the line contact in case of roller bearing. The next type is cylindrical roller bearing. When the maximum load carrying capacity is required in a given space, the point contact in ball bearing is replaced by line contact of the roller bearing. Cylindrical roller bearing offers following advantages. The first one. Due to line contact between rollers and races, the radial load carrying capacity of the cylindrical roller bearing is very high. Next, cylindrical roller bearing is more rigid than ball bearing. Third, the coefficient of friction is low and frictional loss is less in high speed condition. Cylindrical roller bearing has following disadvantages. The first one. Cylindrical roller bearing cannot take thrust load. Next, cylindrical roller bearing is not self-aligning. It cannot tolerate misalignment. It needs precise alignment between the axis of the shaft and the boring of the housing. And the last, cylindrical roller bearing generates more noise. The next category is angular contact bearing. In angular contact bearing, the grooves in the inner and outer races are so shaped that the line of reaction at the contact between balls and the races make an angle with the axis of the bearing. Angular contact bearing has following advantages. The first one, angular contact bearing can take both radial and axial load. Next, it carries relatively large axial and radial loads. The disadvantages are two bearings are required to take thrust load in both directions. The angular contact bearing must be mounted without axial play. And the last one, the angular contact bearing requires initial preloading. Next type is self-aligning bearing. There are two types of self-aligning rolling contact bearings that is self-aligning ball bearing and spherical roller bearings. The self-aligning ball bearing consists of two rows of balls 
which rolls in a common spherical surface in the outer rays. In this type, the assembly of the shaft, the inner rays and the balls with cage can freely roll and adjust itself to the angular misalignment of the shaft. There is similar arrangement in the spherical roller bearing where balls are replaced by two rows of spherical rollers which run on a common spherical surface in the outer race. Self-aligning bearing offers following advantages that it carries high radial and thrust load, the maintenance is minimum and it has low noise. The next category of the bearing is taper roller bearing. The taper roller bearing consists of the rolling elements in the form of frustum of a cone. They are arranged in such a way that the axis of the angular rolling elements intersect in a common apex point on the axis of the bearing. The taper roller bearing can carry both radial and axial loads. Therefore, taper roller bearing are always used in pair to balance the thrust component. The taper roller bearing has separable construction. The ring is called cup and the inner ring is called cone. Taper roller bearing offers following advantages. Taper roller bearing can take heavy radial and thrust load. Taper roller bearing has more rigidity. Taper roller bearing can be easily assembled and disassembled due to separable parts. It has following disadvantages. It is necessary to use two ripple roller bearings on the shaft to balance the axial force. It is necessary to adjust the axial position of the bearing with preload. This is essential to coincide the apex of the cone with common apex of the rolling element. The taper roller bearing cannot tolerate misalignment between the axis of the shaft and the housing bore. And the last is taper roller bearings are costly. The next type of roller bearing is thrust ball bearing. The thrust ball bearing consists of a row of balls running between the two rings that is shaft ring and the housing ring. The thrust bearing carry thrust load in only one direction and cannot carry any radial load. The advantages are the use of large number of balls result in high thrust load carrying capacity in a smaller space. And the disadvantages are thrust ball bearing cannot take radial load. It is not self aligning and cannot tolerate misalignment. Their performance is satisfactory at low and medium speed. At high speed such bearing give poor performance because the balls are subjected to centrifugal forces and gyroscopic couple. Thrust ball bearing do not operate as well as on horizontal shaft as they do on vertical shafts. And thrust ball bearing requires continuous pressure applied by springs to hold the rings together. Thrust ball bearings are used where heavy thrust loads are to be carried. For example, worm gear and crane hooks. So students, this is all about classification and different types of rolling contact bearing. Thank you.